Hello, my name is Slow Ninja and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be starting a brand new Let's Play on the latest game called Empire of Sin. And this game looks quite a lot of fun. I have done the I have done the tutorial, so I kind of roughly know what I'm doing. But yeah, this game is set in Chicago in the 1920s. And you play as one of 16 Mafia characters, some are based on real characters, which we'll have a quick look at once we hit a new game. And yeah, this seems to be quite a lot of fun. And plus the soundtrack for this game is fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, you could argue that the game is... that Some games are, are built around the soundtrack, or sometimes the soundtrack's built around the games, but... I feel like maybe the game's built around the soundtrack for this. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, let's just click on the new game and. So we have this quick just look around of all the people who we can become. I'm just going to be s skipping through all of them. And when. So you have a rough idea on who to be. And also the great thing about this game is that we've got people from, well, not from just America, but like we've got Irish Americans, fully Mexican, yeah, it's Mexican, I thought that was Italian, Irish American, got proper Italians, my favourite one is from Hungary, which is quite cool, I mean, yeah, we would say each, each gangster leader, or mafia boss, I want to call it, has the boss ability, so for instance, if we look at uh, here we go, Joseph Stoltis, 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 probably butchering its name, so I do apologize. So we've got like the possibility of like stampede, where show them, show them his boss charge for dealing a large amount of damage and knock him back the enemies. First enemy in your path, any enemy caught in your path is damaged and knocked back. So each each boss has got a different one. So Stephanie Saint Clair, firing squad. Don't get your hands dirty. Make all your allies do it. Do it. Make, make your allies do it. There we go. It's finally speaking English. Like you command any friendly or ally characters that are. And so and so on. And, e and each one's got their own empire bonuses. So if we look at Alfonso oh, Capone, he's, he's got minus 20% on the production of all breweries, but the br brothel's ambience cost is also minus 20. So, what's the crack? Whereas a Frankie O'Donovan. Um, his brewery is plus five percent, and the speak speakeasy is minus twenty. So kind of like the bars in your pumps. And finally, the diplomatic bonuses. Hey, how's it going? Each one has their own one to pick one from. Else. So of course, we've all got. It's, now this is the tough thing. What boss do we pick? Good choice. And I feel like out of all the different Sorry. bosses to pick. Uh, I am gonna go for Angelina Jenner. Is that, is that how you pronounce his name? Uh, Angelo Jenner. I'm probably butchering his name. Jenner, crime family. So his possibility is fan of knives, fill out your foes with a barrage of throwing knives. Select multiple targets or a single target multiple times with one selected race of fury of knives at your target. The Empire bonuses at brewery. Additional brewery guard plus one, which is very nice. And the SPKC upgrades cost is minus 5%, which is very, very nice. And diplomatic bonuses at your surface. Faction rating when our impacts plus 100. And our gain when our impacts plus 50%. So he, he looks pretty cool. He looks pretty cool. I would love them to do before we enter it, I would love them to do just a little tiny like DLC. We get to make your own character because I feel like that will be quite a lot of fun making your own characters. Anyway, let's confirm and let's let's see. So we so neighborhoods, how many different sections there are of Chicago, and you could either go from just three neighborhoods to only six enemy factions. Or you can go from the 10 and you can pick up to 13 enemy factions. And let's go for this, let's go for this, and let's go for Lieutenant. So we have a little bit of a challenge, which I think will make the game a lot more interesting and we won't be able to roll over everyone. But anyway, let's start the game. 
And Julian meets his high level brother Antonio in the back of one of his family business on March 17th, 2020, to discuss their brother. Was it brother or brothel? I couldn't, I couldn't read it all. Angelo, please, you need to cool off. Huh. You're worse than Gabriel himself. It was against the brother, so now it's like kind of like the RPG element. It's kind of interesting, so whatever you pick can affect the outcome of the conversation. So, um, um, let's go for. And would you sell me down the river? I'm your brother, too. Yeah, but you're the brother with sense. But Gabriel, it ain't like he did himself any favors, and it ain't like he was framed for a murder. He did the murder. Oh. Who gives a fuck? I do, brother. It was broad daylight in the middle of the street because he thought the guy was laughing at him. Nobody's laughing now. There's no use us making ourselves vulnerable for his fuck ups. We gotta be smart. The rest of the family will be here soon. I know you look up to him. I mean, we are family. There we go. We're family. <laughs> we gotta do whatever it takes for the good of the family, don't we? Wait, what's, what does my character sound like? Um, what do my brothers want? Joe from Family Guy. He didn't have such family? a deep voice. Fuck no. If he thinks at all, it's with his dick. You know he ain't right no more. Oh, is that just me? He thinks that. Probably just me. Fuck you, Antonio. I can't let this rest. There's a pattern here, Angelo. You tell me fuck you, and then you expect me to help? Uh, I don't want to run Preston. Let's just keep with the theme. Fuck you, Antonio. What do you think is going to happen to him in there? He won't tank. We'll make sure he doesn't. He just needs... Uh, some time away from things. There we go. You would be happy if that time away was forever. In the slammer or in the ground. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna try to get him out. out. I know of a guy. A bold patrolman. His brother's a detective. But he likes to gamble. And he owes some money to a small crew. We take on that debt. Then we can squeeze him to find out where the witness is. That's so Gabriel do what he did. Sounds like a plan. I, be I do believe, before we continue that, each character has their own storyline. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that may be the case. But as well as... So we continue something else which I'd like to talk about once we get more further into the game. It's for Gabriel. So as we now load up Well into Chicago. And let's see what we can do. Angelo has business has business to take care of Chicago. It's his city after all. He it just does he just doesn't know it yet. It it he just so, so here we go, welcome to we can do the tutorial or we can uh I kind of done the tutorial so You got it, boss. I've been around uh, the block a time or two. There we go. So here we are. So we got so we so when you start off, you do have you start off small pretty much. So if you do the tutorial, you will have to get the safe house, get your brewery, get your speakeasy. But I think once you once you start in the game, you just get it straight away. So that's kind of nice so we can either move our character in this mode and we have a rough idea so here 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 is everything this is what the world map looks like we are down here so we don't know any well we own nothing down here so as you can see here this 
So you get all these abandoned buildings, which, of course, we can get them, but as they are quite strong, they may be a little bit tough to actually go for now. So I'm trying to find all the ones which are, there we go, like a level one here. We could either travel to or move to, but I'm just going to move to. And there's the counter screen. I did get one the DLC, so of course I get some more weapons. And that's here's our squad leader. Or our boss, I thought. Might as well give him more. The good weapons. So a shotgun, as well, that's a revolver. And each character has different traits. Which of course play up for be for bonuses or negatives. But when of course well, each character gets their own one. This is the black book. From here you can see which gangsters are available for hire, their relationships, their profession. You'll notice that some gangsters are grayed out. That's because they there won't we go. work for It's pretty much all the ones which are grayed out means we need to boost up our maturity. So the more higher we are that, the more people we can get. And um, so for instance, if we offer uh, for Maria Rodriguez, it shows you the people who they like, it shows them who they love, and also to show them who they dislike. ¿Cómo estás? So can we hire you? Yes, we can. Gracias. And... How's it going? I'm going to hire you as well. You take Miller. At your service. The reason why I'm hiding these two is because these are the two people here you get at the start if you do the tutorial. So anyway, let's now move everyone here. You can zoom in just like that. So we just have to right click and attack. Make sure you have everybody selected. Hey, Do you want more pointers about how combat works in Empire of Sin? Not for now. Not for now, because I roughly know what I am doing. So, this is when it becomes like a turn based game. Uh, like, um, I guess a similar game to us, it's like XCOM. And of course, each character has their own different abilities, so that's a good shot. And we can just get him to shoot normally. That, so each character has two action points. Normally it's move and shoot. If you've got a pistol, you can shoot twice. So you get some abilities like, for instance, fan of knives, where it costs two AP. But who can we hit? We can hit you. Oh, he's standing there. Oh, he got a nice... He got a crit. That was a nice hit. Okay, let's right. move there. That was Buffy's actions. Okay. It's the quickest thing I like about this game. Depending on where you put your cursor, whatever, you have a rough idea of how lucky you are going to hit a character, for instance. So I'm only going to put you on Overwatch. And the difference compared to some of game like XCOM, where if you put it on Overwatch, they can shoot anywhere. Whereas in this game, you have to tell them what direction you want them to shoot. So, for instance, for Marie Rodriguez, I want to shoot run right about there. So you just left click, and they would do Overwatch. Kill them. Oh, you missed. Assholes. So, for instance, for her, the reason why he couldn't shoot him because of the line of sight. So, line of sight also plays a big, a big, big part in it. Nice hit. We get hit. Oh, he missed. Oh, that's a shame. Entendido. 
chapter because it has the thing where it's got the yellow shield means he's out of cover. For instance, Angelino and Jenna gets in full cover. So there we go. So doesn't do enough to kill, unfortunately. Let me find a target. Let's do this. Thirty five, might as well finish off you. Right. Let's get. I'm on it. We get a hit. Twenty two percent chance. No. Can we get a hit? There we go. With the pistols, you can shoot twice. I mean, you can go into combat, Let's do this. but I don't really see there's any point. Got a nice current. Oh, that's a good. So there we go. We are winners. So you got the thugs here. So we gain that amount of money, which is pretty nice. We got some good loot as well. So now we can either ransack, smash up, race, or take over. But let's take it over. And let's turn it in to another. Yeah, let's turn it into another speakeasy. We can name it to whatever we want. We could, so I'm just going to keep it as a silver dollar saloon, but of course. If you've got any name suggestions for any of the places, just leave them in the comments below and I will pick out some of the best ones. Let's build this place to the rafters! Ugh, this place makes me puke. Looks like you just got a new item. Head into the gangster's rep sheet to learn how to equip it. That's very much. This is doing this, Ronnie. And we could sell that for good money as well. <clears throat> so now we click. We don't really need to. It's just the upgrade screen, so we can see. So we are losing money. It's because of the crow, yeah. So you can upgrade it. And also, you can rush it as well. Which I'm gonna do. Got me some more money as well. And so there we go. So there's a. We could probably go for. Safe house. So. This is our little region here. So. Yeah, no, no. We could go for that, but. Well, there we go. There's a little introduction to a little game called the Empire of Sin. So if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like. Any comments would be appreciated if you're new around here. I like the content which I make. We'll make sure to subscribe to get more daily content. Until the next episode, see you later.